statistically the worst offense in the league, worst shooting team in the league. Shoot 50 percent from the three on that many attempts. You know, you got to give them credit. They knocked them down. And that's Kevin Durant. And as a result of Colin Sexton's 42 points in Kyrie's mm. return, the Cavs knock down the Nets 147, 135, and double OT. More on that coming up in our Sports Center update at 6:30 a.m. Eastern. You heard the call there on WT. A.M. Uh, not to be underplayed here. Again in a loss, James Harden, Jay, had another triple-double. Triple double. Another one. But the bottom line is it's the two point guards that are the big story this morning. The one that returned and the one that outshined the guy that returned. Well, so Colin Sexton, that boy was on fire last night, Key. I don't know if you ever had this hoop-wise. It's an out-of-body experience. It almost feels like he's hotter than cayenne pepper. But I've had this multiple times playing in the course of the game where, the, you know, Bill Cartwright came up to me one time. I was like, Jay, like, did, did you see the basket on that last shot you shot? I was like, I didn't, I didn't see the basket. It didn't matter what I put up. The ball was going in. It, the ball just found a way to hit the bottom of the net. And that's what was happening last night with Colin Sexton. Like, you go back to the 2018 draft, like, I always felt like he was different. No doubt about it, he's shining this year. And it, it, it's proven to be he is the person that we thought he could be. Now, on the opposite side with the Nets, this doesn't really concern me, them losing a the game, right? Uh, LeBron James, D-Wade, Chris Bosh, they lost their debut. Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson, they lost their debut. The only thing that's kind of concerning is that they gave up 147 points. And that's the one thing we're going to be paying attention to as it relates to this team. We know they can outscore people. We know they can, you know, go on 20-0 runs. They have the scoring power to do so. But their ability to get stops down the stretch, who's going to be that guy? Who's that guy that you say, go get him, Colin Sexton. Go get, go get Colin Sexton and stop him. That, that's going to be the question. 147 points against one of the worst offensive teams in the league. That's concerning. No doubt. It's Keyshawn J. Will Zubin. We're presented by Progressive Insurance. All of our guests just this morning will join in the Goodyear hotline. It's time for Straight Talk, brought to you by Straight Talk Wireless. Key, a couple of stats that just have to be mentioned with Sexton. This might be the most amazing NBA stat of the young season. Colin Sexton, you ready for this, fellas? Yes, I am. Scored 15 points in the second overtime alone. He scored mm -hmm. 15 points in the second overtime. As for the other point guard, Kyrie, quote, two overtimes for my first game back. You got to love NBA ball, though. I was smiling when Colin Sexton was making those shots. We should mention Kyrie because it was a double OT game. He did get up there. He played 48 minutes in his first game key in about 15, 16 days. He hasn't played since January 5th. He was only back at practice on Tuesday. Well, he's clearly in professional sports shape. I mean, he's a true athlete. So a couple, uh, two weeks off, three weeks off is not going to do anything to his conditioning. Uh, the thing that amazes me, though, he comes back and he drops buckets and he plays his lumble superstar talent have lost games along the way, first game, second games along the way. And eventually that core will figure it out together once they start to practice and understand it. But you got to stop somebody. You got to be able to play defense on somebody. Because what will happen is these coaches, as Jay knows in the NBA, will expose your weakness. When you start to go up against some of those teams that have guys that can put you not only on the perimeter, but also off the dribble, pounded down low. How can you counter that? I mean, you know, and that's a lot of the times in Mike D'Antoni's system. Well, I don't want to call it Mike. Well, I guess you can, right, Jay? Call it. It's like Steve Nash, Mike D'Antoni system. Okay, yeah. so with this style of play, as we've seen in the past, High volume, high shooting, a lot of scoring, but on the other end, no defense. So, again, you cannot outscore everybody. You've got to hey, play some defense. It's going to be common practice that these guys, between the three of them, are going to be averaging around 65 to 70 shots a game. Like, that's, that's a given every game. Last night, Kyrie Irving also was returning to Cleveland, to Cleveland, where he won a chip. So, I think there was a little extra motivation there. And, but just let me tell you one quick story, Zubin, about Colin Sexton. They go back to his college days at Alabama. He was playing against Minnesota. Everybody on their team fouled out. They were left with three players on the court. Do you remember? Colin Sexton was one of three players, Key. It was three versus five. I thought they were going to cancel the game, but they continued to play the game. Colin Sexton dropped 40 in that game, and they almost won. So wait, they almost three won. On five? Three against, the game three was in against Brooklyn. Five. The game he, was in Brooklyn. Yeah. I've never seen this before. He dropped 40, and they had a chance to win the game down the stretch. It was, That's who Colin Sexton is, though, just to remind people. I know he plays for the Cavs, but that boy can light it up. Three on five, that sounds like a, a, a practice drill, Jay. 
Exactly. And he and he was key. I'm telling you, they had two cats on him the whole time. He was just taking. It was like one verse five. He was. And he wasn't passing in nobody. He was dropping four. I've never seen anything like I, it before he, in my life. I think he's going to continue to develop, especially as they get some stability in Cleveland and not all the back and forth, changing coaches in and out. Once they get that stability, I think he'll continue to just develop. You can't have change all the time. Yeah, one last thing I would mention, Jay's right on the money there with the attempts per game. Last night, if you add the three together, it was actually 67 shots between the three guys. But again, you cannot ignore the fact that everybody is filling it up again in Kyrie's first game back as they're trying to integrate him back in. Durant has 38. Kyrie has 37. Harden has a triple-double. And oh, by the way, they'll get a good sense of where they are because they're next opponent same team they're going to play the Cavs again on Friday straight talk wireless no contract no it just, no, it just, that just seemed like a lot but Jay Jay explained it to me got a break got a break screaming at me and that game was in Brooklyn <laughs> by the way that three on five game college basketball fans will remember it for sure on the news reports John, this isn't the end result that the Brooklyn Nets wanted Steve Nash said after the game that at times the group looked quote a little lost but he said that 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 was natural because this is the first time that they have played together. So there's a lot of material for them to go over in film sessions tomorrow. But Kyrie Irving seemed genuinely happy to finally be back on the floor with his teammates. And always playing the game that I love, I'm grateful. So I never take it for granted. And then also to be, you know, playing with Kevin Durant, James Harden, you know, just those names alone right now, just like we're – we're having some fun, but it's not just about us. And I always say that, you know, we, we're, we'll have good nights, we'll have great nights, but it's how we galvanize this group um, together and how we sacrifice and compromise for the greater good, you know, and that that still remains to be seen. Obviously, one game's out the way, but I'm excited for what's to come. Now, the Nets still have pieces to fold in here. Kyrie Irving played a career-high 48 minutes and 22 seconds, while Kevin Durant and James Harden both played over 50 minutes, while Landry Shamit, who was brought in to be a key piece of this Nets bench, didn't play at all. But overall, Kevin Durant said it felt right to finally be out there with the two other All-Stars. It felt perfect, he said. It felt like, quote, we belonged out there together. Tim Legler with us on SportsCenter for a level-headed look at the KD, Kyrie, Harden triumvirate. We're not going to get all panicky because they were not triumphant here, Tim, but we got two parts. So let's start with where are the trouble spots or kind of what caused the trouble when these three were on the floor? Well, I think the biggest thing is, John, I think there's just such a reliance on individual shot making that it's a tough way to win on a night-to-night -night basis, despite the fact that this might be the greatest offensive trio we've ever seen put together. It's still a tough way to go about your business night-to-night. -night. So when, when push came to shove in this, if you broke down their offense, you're going to see a whole lot of that. Guys taking turns, and I thought that that's a mistake because if you just incorporate any sort of ball movement where the ball can change sides of the floor and a couple of those guys get opportunities, to touch it on the same possession once the defense is shifted, I just think it's going to be much easier to operate and you're going to get more efficient shots. These guys are great enough that they can get back in the game the way they did in the fourth quarter mm -hmm. by making shots, but I think they can make it easier on themselves if they can get that ball movement a little bit better, player movement a little bit better. And also, I think Kevin Durant is a guy that in those spots late, when it's a one possession situation, he has to be involved somehow in the offense. And you saw that he wasn't there at the end of regulation when Harden took that step back three and Kevin Durant's just standing there on the wing. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me when you talk about a guy with the stature of Kevin Durant. All right, so yeah, those big, they combined for 96 points. That seems like plenty. What is it that you like and what is it that works with these three cats? Well, one of the things that obviously works is first, there's no team in the league that can guarantee at all times you've got one of the best offensive players on the floor for the entire game. So let's just start with that. They always have an elite guy, at least one, most of the time two of those guys out there that you can just create all kinds of problems for defensively. And there were times in this one when you could just see the presence of that second or third superstar, how easy it made the game for guys to get to the rim, for guys to come up and get some early offense for themselves because there's so much attention that's going to be paid to other parts of the floor. So there are opportunities that they're going to get to take advantage of defenses that are going to be a little more porous than what they saw individually when they were star players 
on teams, and, and you could load up on those guys. Much harder to load up uh, when you have that kind of talent on the floor. So I did see some situations like that where the mere presence of those guys helped facilitate individual opportunities. Real quick, can they guard well enough with those three guys? <laughs> No, they're not a very good defensive team. They weren't initially. I don't think their defensive principles are really there yet. Um, and, and it was really a problem tonight. When DeAndre Jordan's off the floor, this team is so small. They get pounded in the paint. They get pounded on the offensive glass. They gave up 64 points in the paint to this team, and they're not even at full strength. So that is going to be a major problem, John. I don't see this team grinding out wins on nights when their guys don't make shots. Look at tonight, 96 between the three of them, a triple-double for James Harden and they still lost the game. <laughs> so they've got to tighten up that end of the floor, take it a little bit more seriously, put themselves in better positions where they don't have to be spectacular down the stretch. That's absolutely the point of emphasis with this team is to get better defensively and be more accountable to each other. And we